Okay, welcome Capricorns. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back Capricorns. Let's see what is coming up and transpiring for your abundance in money and prosperity for the season of Sagittarius. So, Sagittarius begin Capricorns from the 22nd of November until the 21st of December, right before you Capricorns, zodiac energy vibration comes in. So, you are going to be releasing some sort of a financial issue that was transpiring. I want to say thank you for um, returning. And please remember that every season, as the season change from one zodiac sign to another, your readings are here. If this is your first time, welcome. And thank you for being here. We are going to be looking and seeing exactly what is happening and what is transpiring. So, you have a good, 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 good start um, to this um, Sagittarian season. So what has been happening as you come in the Sagittarian season out of Scorpio, Scorpio was a little bit rocky for you Capricorns. Um, we can see that in your readings. And you have the Nine of Cups. And this is just so wonderful, so positive. The Nine of Cups is saying that your wishes and dreams is coming true when it comes on to your financial flow. So that is a really positive alignment of energy. As you look at the top, um, you see the energy of the roses. Now, there are four different uh, energies that is at the top. In order for you to know and choose one of these, you don't have to choose the roses Choose any one of these to see how your materialistic flow, your financial flow, your prosperity is going to be going in this period. Okay. So what we're looking at is that you have the nine of cups. So then you have the ten of swords. Then you have the ten of wands. Now, whenever tens comes up, is that uh, you are um, happy, your happiness and joy is uh, coming in because um, money is roiling, there is financial flow, but uh, I see in the second week someone is going to try to stab you in your back. Now Capricorns, you got to look out for a lot of people and a lot of situation that is going to be coming up and transpiring because you Capricorns are going to be finding out a whole lot of situation that was happening. So I see you Capricorns are really speaking up, speaking up in the second week about something that as desirable happen um, to affect your financial flow. And some of you Capricorns could find out in the second week that there was some sort of a destructiveness where people were lying and, and creating a lot of issue around your financial stability and your materialistic wealth. So what we're looking at at this time is that we're realizing um, the deceptiveness that was created and how some sort of a deceptive situation that was happening, how it creates uh, some sort of uh, um, hop evil in your financial flow. Now, this is going to be happening in the second week. So what you're going to be doing is standing your ground and speaking up. It's about standing your ground and speaking of the Ten of Swords, especially is that you found out that there was some sort of a misuse uh, of your money or someone has uh, taken your money and you're going to be um, standing up. So whether it's in your business or whether it's in your personal life or it could be a situation where you should have gotten a bonus and someone tried to, um, you know, lie to, so that you don't get a bonus. And I see you're going to be really standing your ground and speaking up and, uh, um, you know, not taking the hit because um, it has to do with your financial and materialist flow. So I see you're going to be standing your ground in the second week, whatever is transpiring, whoever wants to stab you in your back, you're going to be facing them because you're going to be standing up for some sort of uh, equality and injustice where um, people could have taken money from your business and your account that was not theirs and lied about it. And I see you're going to be standing up and showing up uh, these people that they are lying as we look at the third week, the third week energy is absolutely fabulous. The third week energy is that your financial burdens is going to be over. So the week before you move into your zodiac energies, you are going to be realizing that your financial stability, um, the instability in your financial world is going to be balanced out. And the worries and the deceptive play that people try to create around your money is going to be released. So 
So two turns in um in a in, in a financial reading, it's about uh, hitting rock bottom, but yet still getting back up uh, and moving forward. So it is as if some sort of an instability comes in in the second week that has affected you, and it's because people have realized that. Uh, um, you know, no matter what they do and however they're trying to block uh, your flow of money, it's not happening. And I see a lot of people add kind of work against you um, and try to create some sort of an issue, some sort of a obstacles uh, um, with your flow, with the flow of your prosperity. And then you just stood up uh, in the third week and realized that uh, because you stood up and you spoke up, you realize that you release this financial instability that people were creating for you. So, um, Capricorns, you gotta be aware that no matter how hard you work in that sort of a thing, there's always someone that is uh, looking at what you have achieved and how much you have and always trying to say how much money is in your, uh, your, um, pocket. And this is a situation that you Capricorn is going to be realizing that even if you don't ask and you don't ask for financial help or that sort of a thing, people just assume that you have it all. And I see that that was what happened in the second week. The third week, you're going to be getting up, um, brushing yourself off and realizing, you know, whatever has happened in the second week has to happen because it removes some sort of a lower energy or some sort of a lower frequency that was affecting your financial flow. And that burdensome situation is going to be ending in the third week. The thing of once um, in reverse is that uh, whatever the, the destructiveness that people were doing to create instability for you, um, it is going to be resolving in the third week and you're going to be leaving that situation behind and you're going to be moving forward as you move in um, your Capricorn season. So look out for your Capricorn season reading. Please leave a message and let me know how this is and how it affects you. OK, Um. As we look at the fourth week, the fourth week, you're dealing with the earth energy, and this is good for you, Capricorns, especially when you're dealing with the earth energy. Um, so I see your financial stability is going to be balanced out in the fourth week, so this is good. A heart energy is going to be coming in in order. I see um, spirit guides are going to be helping you to manifest again. So it's as if some sort of instability come in the second week um, where you overcome a situation coming in um, this Sagittarian period, but as you move in because of jealousy from other people, bam, you fell. And now in the third week, you got up and that it was good that it happened, whatever happened in the first week, because you're seeing in the third week is that you, you know, that big hit just let you release a whole lot of people, a whole lot of situation at once and you release yourself. Now, Coming in the fourth week, the fourth week is so powerful because the fourth week is showing you that you are aligning yourself. You're bringing back and aligning your financial stability and you're coming in in a powerful way. So this is going to be good. So remember, these situations do comes up and they do transpire and they do affect you in a whole lot of way. So you have to understand that uh, um, people will try to derail you whenever they see you are good at work or good um, with a business. People will try to derail you because it is always a sense of jealousy that is coming in. But whatever this jealousy is and whatever they have tried, we are going to be looking at uh, your diamond shape in order um, to rebalance the situation and to clear up what was happening and transpiring. So always remember um, where is the, 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 the third week, the second week is not going to be good. The first week is going to be like a wonderful, wonderful, but the, the uh, second week is not going to be good. The third week is as if, okay, so that happened. Now I can rebuild. And as you move out of the Sagittarian season, you are going to be regaining financial balance and your flow is going to be balancing out. And then you're picking up uh, to enter in your own zodiac season of the Capricorn season that is coming right behind here. So a wonderful alignment of energy. And this is going to be powerful. Um, you're going to be overcoming some sort of uh, obstacles uh, 
um, some sort of a situation that people have created in your way. You're going to be overcoming this. You're going to be realizing. You're going to be seeing. You're going to be understanding more of what was happening and how you transform um you know that blow in the second week and how you transform it and coming out on top so whatever that people were doing in order to create some sort of an issue and to form some sort of a um deceptive play around you you're going to be realizing um hey i did get over this and i did see this through how i should see this through and this is going to be good so it's a wonderful alignment of energies and Congratulations to you, Capricorns, your wishes and dreams. Um, it could be with a new um, um, contract that is coming in. It could be with new business alignments. It could be with new teamwork that is going to be transpiring. Um, it could be with a whole lot of uh, high frequency energy that is going to be helping you to manifest uh, your stability and your financial stability and this is going to be moving you capricorn in a wonderful alignment of energy and this is going to be so prosperous so um capricorns congratulations um in order to see what is you have to choose one of the um the symbol on the cards at the top and uh, um that will align you to prepare you for what is going to be happening um, in the second week. So Capricorns, be aware of this. So this is um, really wonderful for you, Capricorns. Your financial flow is going to be balancing out. You're going to be finding your way through um, some sort of a mucky things where you showed up people that was lying about some money. And um, these people tried to stab you in your back and you stood up and you spoke up about some dishonest play with a whole lot of money. And now you have released that burden and now balance is going to be coming back in the four weeks. So this is going to be wonderful. I do love you guys. Um, please share this video. Share, share, share. In order to see what is um, above those energies, you have to choose one of these cards and use the blue button in order to see the extended of this reading because money readings are very long because they go in details and they show up what is happening and you need to choose one of these one of these frequency will let you know what is your frequency one and this is why i'm changing up the energy um because when you give um this is a general reading but in order for someone to see what their frequency is going to be dealing with, you have to basically um, choose one of the energies above and that is your frequency. Because your guides and angels is going to choose, uh, make you choose either the rose, um, either the onyx of the money, um, pendulum of uh, the shoes, okay? I love you guys. I got to go. Let me know how it went. Namaste. Until next time. Oh! <laughs>